NODCON 2016 with Beerfluts.com, and we're here with Bert from Percussa. Hi. He's going to tell us about the new wireless audio cubes and their central control station. Yes, hi. Um, so um, since we, we released the original audio cubes in 2007, a lot has changed. Originally, the audio cubes were not wireless, and so around 2009, we added full wireless capability to all the cubes. And then now recently, we released the Wireless Audio Cubes Pro, which is the latest edition of Audio Cubes, and which comes with a much improved uh, industrial plastic housing, which is very, very resistant, improved battery life, uh, wireless capabilities, and so on. And then we also recently uh, made this uh, new control surface called the Remote, and um, which basically acts as a base station for the Cube network. So uh, you can connect up to 16 cubes um, with this remote. And, and that talks to your, your synthesizer software. Yes, yes. So we have uh, our, our own synthesizer software now running on a computer, Mac and PC, uh, no drivers, no installers. It's completely standalone. Uh, you don't need anything else, not even a DAW to use it. And you can pipe the audio into your DAW if you want, or you can send it out to your computer and then back in. It also takes MIDI input, so if you have a drum machine, you can grab the clock from that and use that to cool. synchronize the step sequencers. Um, uh, basically, the cubes are used to patch uh, in the software. So with every cube, there is a module associated in the software, and as you place cubes together, um, you can you can um, yeah, patch so the, signals. The, the proximity of the cubes to one another works like the patching in a modular synth. Exactly. So the cubes don't only detect each other, they also sense distance. So as you move uh, cubes closer and, and further away, uh, the signal grows stronger or fainter. So when it's very close, you get a big signal. If you go further away, the signal you know, becomes very quiet, basically. You get a little... Audio on the camera here. Now you have two tones, different yep. frequencies, and you can mix these two tones together in various ways just by moving the cubes further and closer to, each, to the mm -hmm. main, main output cube. I can add a third one for a third tone if I wanted to. This is a very basic kind of additive synthesis kind of uh, demo. Yep. Uh, and then the cool thing also with this software is you can switch presets very quickly. Uh, you can create a setup and then like switch to something completely different. Like for example, um, let's see what we have here. Like this wind blow uh, demo. Mm -hmm. So I have my output cube and then when I when you put the you get, um, a random noise like a variable yeah. frequency. You can um, go in there and you can, you can go in here and uh, change the frequency of that if you wanted to. Okay. And you can stick a filter in between there and then you can get like a rumbling sound. So now it's kind of like a rumbling, windy kind of sound. And then you can, of course, manually sweep the frequency of the, cut, of the, I mean the cutoff if you wanted to. Different filter types we have like low pass, high pass, band pass, all that stuff. Cool. And then with this DC level cube, you can basically affect the cutoff of that filter, and you can also at the same time modulate the amplitude, so it becomes like like this. So if you're looking to create some wind sounds for a film, <laughs> this makes That's it very, very, cool. very organic and very easy. Yeah. And then there is uh, obviously a viewing angle that the cubes have, so which is about 30 degrees. So as you bring the cube in and out, you can get really finesse with get the modulation. Really, you yeah. really sort of subtle with it. Yeah. The way you move the cube will get you all kinds of different sounds. Um, How much for a basic setup with these four cubes and the so, controller? And so on the website, we sell two systems. We sell a system with uh, eight cubes and the remote controller. And we sell a system with 15 cubes 
and oh. uh, the remote controller. And then Celine here has the pricing. Celine is my co-founder. Hi. Hi there. Oh. Hi there from Gear Slots. So uh, Steve was just asking what the 8 cube system goes for. It's 3,600, and then we have the 15 cube set, and that's 5,600. Yes. And that includes your uh, controller unit. Yes, exactly. And your software. And with, the, uh, so it's yeah. with the control surface. The software is free, and we generally update it several times a year. So we have cool. a history of updating the software a lot. And that has been going on even for the original cubes for years now. And so the good thing about this system is you buy the hardware once, but then we add more modules as time goes on. Yeah. And so you can keep using the same hardware, but get like... Map the cubes to new modules. Yeah. And there you go. Okay. Well, yeah, really cutting edge and a, a totally different way to think about sound design. Um, and you are online at percussa.com. Yes, that's correct. And again, those are the Percussa Audio Cube systems here at NodCon 2016. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye.